a Canadian Radio Sanctuary podcast. Have you yourself been a painter, or did this lead you into that? Around the time, the time I retired, 2010, and perhaps a year before that, there was a lady down the street from, from us, and she went, was in the art club at, at, at the Guilford Rec Center, social, and the uh, seniors area of the Guilford Rec Center. And she encouraged me to, to, to paint. And so I started going out there and started painting. We had just an informal group there, and, uh, you know, next thing you know, I'm on the committee. The next thing you know, I'm on the board. And next thing you know, I was the president of the Seniors uh, Advisory uh, Center at Guilford Rec Center. And next thing you know, we were getting things done. But the, the art club got us off the ground and, and I always say, on a rainy day, just paint a sunny sky. And, you know, there's camaraderie. Now, when we decided to move to Agassi and, you know, to move uh, out into a quieter area, next thing you know, I was, of course, gravitating towards availability of an art club. And I, sure enough, I found one. Monday morning painters at the United Church Fellowship Hall. Now, the painters aren't associated with, with the church, but we, uh, we, we rent the space. It's held every Monday except holidays and summertime from 11 until 3 p.m at the Agassiz United Church Fellowship Hall. We have a $5 drop-in fee, and that pays for coffee and little, some snacks and that kind of thing, and helps to pay for the, for the, uh, for, for the rent. And, and the club features art in several different mediums, uh, including acrylics and watercolors. Now, I paint in acrylics, and many people paint in acrylics. At one time, a lot of people painted in oils, but acrylics have been very popular in the last uh, several years. And one thing about acrylics that I find, from my, from my personal perspective, is that they're very forgiving. Because if you go over a line somewhere or you do something that you don't like, you can just let it dry and paint over it. So next thing you know, you, you never knew where the mistake was. Or uh, what's conceived to be a mistake in my mind so you know, they're very, they're very forgiving, and and watercolors. Because I've never, well, I think the last time I painted in watercolors, it was in grade three. You know, we took watercolors and that little green container there with all the various colors. And some people paint in watercolors, and and that's a, that's, that's a very good art uh, art form as well. But about two thirty in the afternoon, we display our current work, uh, and have what we call critique time. Now, when I first heard about this critique time, I was reluctant to bring mine up there, you know, because you're, you're, you're your own worst critic, you know. You, you don't have a, maybe have a little bit of confidence that you should have. But they said, no, 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 bring it up here, bring it up, put it up here. And then people stand back and we look at them and we would say, boy, that's good, that's very good, very good. But one thing I recommend is just over in that area there, if you put a little bit of shading in there, watch to see where, where, where your sun, sunlight is coming from. And so you learn a little bit of that, and you learn a little bit of something else. Next thing you know, you're improving. Somebody says, wow, look at that. Boy, you're, you're really improving here. And not only that, you know, you're painting away in the coffee. Next thing you know, you realize you've been, you've been dipping your paintbrush in the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a little bit embarrassed, and you say it to him. I say, oh, we all do that. <laughs> so I wonder why the coffee cup is not going down as quickly as it, as it should. <laughs> so, you know, that, that, that's part of it. And, and, and it's people, uh, as I say, of a like mind, enjoying yourself doing what we do. We're lost in a world. We're lost in the world of, of a building or a, a landscape or a ship or, or something. That, so, I mean, that, that's a great thing about your club. And I say, of course, I like to kind of horse around a little bit. And I say, hmm, you know, sometimes you're struggling. I just can't get that eye. If you're going to give it up, throw it away. I just say, paint it black, put some white dots on it, and call it a night scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> so that's just my futile attempt at humor. But it's all part of it, you know. We know. Next thing you know, we're, 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 you're loving it, you know. Is there a hardcore group that has been coming, let's say, for the last five years, you can almost count every Monday this group of people will, will be there? Yes, that's true. We're always going to, some people, unfortunately, have, we've lost a few people. I lost uh, four or five people to illnesses, uh, which, of course, upsets the whole group. And, and, you know, we attend the celebration of life. And somebody from the family uh, comes in, and uh, you come in on a Monday, and various uh, uh, canvases, empty canvases or frames or some paints or so on and so forth are now out on the table because the family has bought them in, and, and donations are, you know, are, are taken to, and that's gone to a charity of some so forth. Mm -hmm. So some of the paintings I've done are actually a part of various people who have attended that art club because I've used their paints or their canvas or something. So they're still here with us in the large picture. And one thing about art that really has made me think is that the ability to create. And you're walking along sometimes on a, on a, on a walk, walking the dog, or something. you're looking at that tree and you say, look at the tree and then you move on. But now you take a different look at that tree. You say, oh, it's got green leaves on it. But you actually look, there's about four different shades of green there. And now you're looking within the tree. And now you're looking at things that are much, much different than you looked at before. Because really, uh, the world is a landscape. And there was a gentleman who has passed away, and I bought his painting. And it was of old Chinatown, downtown Vancouver. Now, of course, uh, they're trying, you know, be revitalizing Chinatown. But that's the old Chinatown. This is uh, w w what they're trying to get back to. And you know, the more you look at that, the more you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, an artist told me one time, an art dealer told me one time, if you look at one corner and then another corner and then in the middle and then up at the top, you, sh you can see a movement. You can actually see the ship moving through the water. Some people say, oh, what's, he, what's he been sniffing, you know? But that's, it, and that's true, and, 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 and because there's life there in the Creator. And we happen to be in a church and fellowship hall. Then you start, God is actually the great Creator. He did all this. You know, he did all those colors. Mm -hmm. He did all those uh, different uh, trees. There's. 15 different trees as you go down the highway. One time you just saw one tree or two trees, now you're seeing 15 different trees. And there was some with leaves and some with needles on them. So uh, the great creator and the ability to create, have fun. That's the key, have fun. Mm -hmm. And drink that coffee with the paint in it. <laughs> yes, one last thing. That get together, can someone just show up? They phone you or someone first? Or just show up, sit down, pull in, pull up a chair, get your paints out, say, hi, I'm, I'm George, I'm Mary, and, uh, and, I, and I do watercolors, or I do acrylics, or uh, I like to uh, do scratches on metal. Mm -hmm. There's one fella, a Bob, and he's been there for quite a number of years. He was there when I first started. And he has a little, what they call an MP3 player or something, you can put about 3,000 tunes into it. He turns that on there, and you have that nice music floating through the air. Just a real nice little level. And you can hear a pin drop except for that music. And people are creating, we're having fun, and listening to music, and the time is going by, and all the bad things you hear, and all the destruction in Ukraine, and, and the floods, and the earthquakes, and everything are all forgotten about. We're two and a half hours or so. You're mm -hmm. in a different world. You're creating. Right. And there's no, uh, uh, there's no trouble scenes in those paintings unless you're doing a, you're doing a particular scene, a war scene or something, for example. I, I did a picture of the Titanic going down, you know, and I had people hanging off the mast and all that kind of thing. And I was kind of sitting there singing, near my God to thee, and people said, oh, no, no, you know. <laughs> But you get lost in the world. Always remember to bring 
a second coffee mug. That's right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you.